So yeah, live streamers, let's do this. Um, you should be pretty happy with your streams at this point. Uh, we could have a nice alpha out avatar over the top of another game, over the top of whatever you want to stream. Now we're just going to look at a couple performance things. I'm running all of this off of one machine. So if I'm running two instances of Unreal off of a 2080, I do have 32 gig of RAM, but I haven't even got the most up-to-date graphics card, but it is running, you know, making it run. Um, here's a few things you can do to just get that, get the most out of your performance to uh, make it run. So I've got one level here and to be honest this is becoming almost complex enough for me to be dropping a few frames. So here's a couple of things I would do if I was dropping frames. What I've done here in my first instance is here I've uh, unchecked runtime viewport rendering so that it's not running this in the background at the same time. Really good trick there. So even if you got it running you know shift f1 come out of that you can turn that off and you're still getting the spout output but it's just not rendering it in this viewport avoiding rendering it more than once would be useful another thing you can look at which i've never actually turned off is you can turn off ray tracing i think it's worth it for me it's my payoff i've loved seeing the dynamic shadows and stuff going on but you can try turning that off that could be helpful to your performance uh, third tip is when exiting this instance of unreal i don't if i minimize it look i'm just i'm nothing i'm gone <laughs> So instead of minimizing, just go from that window into your other window, into the other thing you want to do, and there you go, you're, you're not going to drop nearly as many frames, if not none. More optimizations you could look at making Unreal run as fast as possible. Other things you could do is check your FPS, so you just drop down, you know, show FPS. Uh, it's got a good indicator there in the corner of uh, how your game is running. Uh, you can press Control shift h to hide and show that as well. And what you can do in your toolbar here is uh, go settings. Uh, you can change this, uh, these scalability settings if you like. Um, you know, set everything to low. It's going to look like a strange version of what your game once was. But, you know, tweak that. And if you can get away with doing some of that and still making things look better, you can always flip that back to water if you need. Yeah, these are the things you can you can tweak. Um, you know, I'm in the green anyway, so it's not too bad. Control shift hates to hide that. Another key one is uh, you can go edit project settings, uh, use less edge preferences, use less. Yeah, use less CPU when in background. Keep that off for your character that you want to stream as, because if you're uh, if you're going off the same screen and your engine is running in the background, it's a really nice key one that means it's still going to use the same amount of CPU even if it's in the background. Big way to stop dropping frames when you're coming off of your one Unreal project uh, into another one like that, not using less CPU that way, which is nice. So designating more CPU for that. Uh, it could also be down to your OBS as well. So um, your OBS picking up the output from Unreal, which you could have a look at your task manager, uh, you could have a look at your performance, see my power usage here is very high, be expected really, but you know, you could look at getting a new pass by uh, You can go resource values, memory, details, you can go OBS. You can look at setting this priority higher. Uh, this has to be done each time you start up the program, but set priority, this could help for just giving your Selected programs a bit of a boost in that area. And you could do it for Unreal as well if you wanted, just find it in this list. Yeah. Yeah, I hope that's helpful. Um, a couple of performance things. Next up, we're just going to look at uh, probably the key one to look at, which is DLSS. Enabling deep learning super sampling will be super good for your performance and stuff. So I thought we needed its whole own video. Uh, we're going to go into that in the next one. Cheers, cheers. Loud, loud, loud.